Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the DJI Digital FPV system and specifically talking about the power limit feature because this option within the system is designed to reduce the output of the air end under some specific circumstances but there are some quirks you need to be aware of on it and if you are getting some problems with your range on your digital FPV system, this feature could be the reason. So what I'm gonna do in this video is explain exactly what it is, how it works, and what you need to check to make sure you're getting the best possible output from your ear end. Okay, so to try and explain this a little bit more in detail, um, the digital FPV system from DJI in FCC mode has a maximum output of 700 milliwatts. Because it is a digital FPV system, the one thing you will notice is that it gets quite hot in use. Now, in a normal quad frame with plenty of airflow, this shouldn't be a problem. However, if the ear unit was to overheat and got to the over temperature cutoff, in the end, it would actually enter its own fail safe, shut down, you would lose connection to the goggles, the DJ remote and your flight controller would enter failsafe. Now as I mentioned this probably isn't very likely in a quad but it is something that could happen in a larger quad frame or a fixed wing kind of aircraft and the reality is this isn't really the desirable behaviour. So DJI have also introduced another option called the power limit and this allows the flight controller to actually reduce its output if it's going to begin begin to overheat and the idea of this is that rather than it overheating whilst it's sitting on the ground before you've armed the motors it will actually drop its power to 25 milliwatts and then when it detects the motors have been armed it will then jump up to 700 milliwatts to full power. However, this can only work if the air unit is able to detect that you have armed the motors on your aircraft. And it does this via the UART connection to your flight controller. It picks up the signal from the flight controller to say the motors have armed, and then it jumps from 25 milliwatt up to 700. Now this is where some people have been having some problems because if you were to use the digital FPV system without a flight controller or a non-compatible one or you didn't have the UART connected, if you had power limit turned on, it would never detect the motors were working, therefore it would never enter 700 milliwatts and you would get vastly reduced range compared to what you should get. And that is the reason I wanted to do this video to explain why that might happen. Now, the power limit feature is in the settings of the ear system with the goggles. To get to this, you go into the main settings, down to device and under device there are two options available to you at the top. The first option is the power output mode of the ear unit. You can set this to either 25 milliwatts or 700 milliwatts. Now if you have power limit turned off the top option will simply go 25 or 700 and that is it. However if you have power limit turned on the top option will allow it to go up to 700 milliwatts once it has detected the motors are armed. Then below the power option, you have the power limit on and off setting. And this simply turns it on and off as it says. Now, just to show you guys how you can tell if this is working properly, it will only work, as I've mentioned, if you use your DJI FPV ear unit with a compatible flight controller with the UART connection working as expected. This means that you have battery voltage from the flight controller being picked up and the little countdown timer is working as well. And the easiest way to check this is all behaving as it should is that when you turn it all on and sit there and arm your motors, you will see the little countdown timer in the bottom right hand side begin to count up and you will actually see a message flash up in a red box and say unlocked. And that unlocked message is telling you that the FPV unit has detected the unlock signal from the flight controller and it has jumped up to the full 700 milliwatts. So the basic settings for this are as follows. 
If you are using this with a compatible flight controller with the UART connection and you have the battery voltage which is being displayed and the countdown up timer works, simply set the output power to 700 and set power limit to on. And as long as you get that unlocked message when you arm the motors, it will work as intended. However, if you don't have a compatible flight controller, if you don't have one with the UART connected, so you're not getting the battery voltage, you don't get the timer count up and you don't get the unlocked message, set the power output at the top to 700 milliwatt and set power limit to off. If you're using this in a fixed wing without the flight controller, again, make sure you have that power limit mode off. But be very aware, if your ear unit overheats, it will eventually go to total blackout. Now, DJI do have some thermal management in there. It does mess around with the power to try and help itself if it does begin to overheat, regardless if you have power limit turned on or off. However, there is a limit to how much that will work. And if it did continue to overheat, eventually it would just hit the blackout stage and you would lose all control and FPV. And that is it for this video. I hope my explanation of power limit mode has made sense. Now, if you want to order the DJI Digital FPV system, there is a link to it in the description of this video. Please do check that out. It is with your support that I'm able to keep making videos like this. Also, please do subscribe. There is a button in the bottom corner of this video. I really appreciate the guys who do subscribe. Please hit that button and again we'll hopefully produce some more videos on this in the near future. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching and I will do another video again soon. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. Finally, please also check out my website, www.madrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.